What's up, Hope Kids? Pastor Tony here, hanging out with you guys for Hope Kids at Home. I am so glad that you guys have tuned in today as we continue talking about our life app for the month. Remember, a life app is a word that we focus on to help you in your relationship with God and also in how you love others. This month, we are talking about determination. And determination is making a plan and living it out. Last week, we introduced uh, kind of this idea that we are all running a race, that you are running a race based on your life, and we want you to run your race well. And the way that you run your race, race well is with Jesus as the end goal, meaning you're keeping Jesus in front of you as your focus, as you're running your race. And Jesus is the reason why you keep on taking steps forward and forward and forward and forward. It's all because of Him. Well, today we have another part of your training plan to go along with determination. But before we dive into that, we have a game for you today. Now, I'm filming this on Tuesday, May the 4th, or better known as Star Wars Day. How many of you guys are Star Wars fans out there? Right? I know I am. I love Star Wars. and I know many of you love Star Wars. But I want to know how well do you know Star Wars? So this game is called... Star Wars or Scripture? Yes, you heard that correctly. We are playing a game called Star Wars or Scripture. Basically, there's gonna be a quote that comes up on the screen and you have to decide whether or not it is a Star Wars quote, meaning a character from Star Wars said that, or is it written in the Bible? So there are gonna be 10 quotes that come up on the screen. Make sure you guys check out the Hope Kids virtual room. Find week two of Hope Kids at Home games so you guys can find your answer sheet there. Submit your answers and we will announce a prize or announce a prize for the winners inside Hope Kids. So let me see how well you guys know your Star Wars or more importantly, know your scripture. And I'll see you guys after the game is done. How well did you know your scripture? How well did you know your Star Wars court quotes? Well, I hope you guys got 10 out of 10 for it. Now, I know as you guys were reading those, some of those quotes, you were probably confused. You were like, this sounds like it could be scripture or it could sound like something that Obi-Wan said. This sounds like it could be Darth Vader or something that the Apostle Paul wrote. It sounded, some of them sounded very similar and could be very confusing which is the reason why we're talking about the importance of hearing. Hearing for today as part of our training plan, because if you didn't know, when running a race, it's more than just our legs that we use, but we use our eyes, we use our mind, and we also use our ears. And so today we're gonna be diving into um, a story that Jesus told as far as the importance of hearing his word, but more importantly, building our life on what is true and what is important that's ultimately God's word. So let's check out today's story. Let's go visit our friends at the so-and-so show and I'll see you guys after the video is done.
Why are you still running? Why are you running so slowly? Is it me? It's him, right? I already won! And welcome to the So and So Show. Brandon, do you want to tell everyone out there what we're doing today? Sure. John is training me in the first and final annual blindfolded nose recorder three legged race. So, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It Brandon and I are entered into a three mile race tied together at three the leg, miles. blindfolded uh, while playing the nose recorder. Yes, but I've never played the nose recorder before. Hey, no fear, my friend. I will be here to guide you every step along the way. Okay, why don't you give them a little taste of your musical prowess? Oh, well, I shall. There we are. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. You. All, right. all right, let's get started. All right, all right. First step, <clears throat> take your nose recorder and place it in your nostril. Okay. Mm. Okay, I got it. Now, what makes a nose recorder different than a normal recorder? It's played with your nose. Uh, Come on, focus. Okay. 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 Does that feel comfortable? Define comfortable. All right, I'll take that as a yes. Now, give it a nice big... Okay. Oh, no, no, okay, hold on. Put your fingers here, all right, just like that. Where, where? Yep, yep, like yep, that's that? right. Yeah, yeah, okay. go again, go again, go again. No, no, not there, not there, not there. You gotta cover the, there's a hole underneath with your thumb I, I and a hole on that. top. No, I got, no, 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 I got it, listen. No, 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 that's no, what I'm... no, 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 it's like this. Even. No, 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 you're not, listen, just stop that, stop that. That's... What? What are you doing? I was getting it. No. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Uh, hey, Hans, welcome back, man. Okay, so uh, we know who he is, but just in case, why don't you tell them who you are and what you know? Hello. Guten Tag. My name is Hans Decibel. I am the expert in all things auditory. Mm -hmm. Auditory? Yeah, this is correct. Auditory. With your ears. Yeah. Well, Hans, the reason I asked you here. Ha! Hear. Ha! Ha! Oh. <laughs> I hear what you did there. <laughs> Please continue. Oh. Uh, yeah, the reason I asked you. Hear! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. The reason I. Uh, that you are at this place at this moment in time mm -hmm. is I'm trying to train Brandon for a race and he's not listening to me. So can you help me out with this? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. I understand your problem. I can help with this. To train the ears, one must do important listening exercises. Oh. I will train you now. Now, the first exercise will involve me saying a sentence, and you must repeat it after me. Oh, that sounds easy enough. While wearing headphones, playing white noise in your ears. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah, wow. There are many distractions in our world. We must train our ears to hear through the noise. And yes, you at home can play as well. Listen carefully and see if you can hear what are the words I say. Headphones on! Oh, headphones on. This. They're good. Do you know what I said, Brand? I don't think so, but I'll try. I, a famous friend of spaghetti has spaghettos. <laughs> Nine. No. Jan? A famous chunk of spaghetti was found in the snow. Nine. Also wrong. 
The sentence first. A single strand of spaghetti is called spaghetto. Oh, oh you were so close. I was. Nine, no. not close at all. For our next training exercise, I will play an audio recording of three completely different words being said at the exact same time. Ah, mm. All right, bring it on. Let's do it. Headphones on. Okay. These Please. Connected to that. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let us begin. Bounce the page here. No, can we? Yeah, can you play it again? Yeah, I can do this. Bounce the page here. Uh, okay. Brad? I think it's basketball, spaceship, and uh, dinosaur? Nine. No. She's wrong. Okay, uh, I, I think it's basketball, uh, learn to share, and... Nine! Okay. This is wrong. What do you think it was? I can't hear you. Louder? No, they don't... They, they, you won't. Nine, I can't hear you. The right answer was newspaper, rocking chair, basketball. Oh, oh we got one. That's hard. Your ears are still not trained. Mm. For our final exercise, we will need this. Okay. Here are the rules. I will show Jan a word. You will both step up to the aquarium. You will dunk your heads under the water. Jan will yell the word to you. Uh, oh, okay. okay. All right. Uh, step up. Oh, oh, oh. Here is the word. Oh, boy. Okay. Here we go. Ready? And are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. In three, two, one, go! Was it sunscreen? Yeah! yeah. You are making progress, Brand. Did you get it too? Uh -huh. I can't hear you. Louder. I can't ever hear them. Okay. okay. So the next word. Oh, okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> uh, is it pineapple? Oh. Uh oh. Nine. Wait, wait, wait. The answer is. Platypus! Oh, oh platypus. Okay. Yeah. That's a hard one. But good job on the first one. Thank you. Did you get that one? Platypus? I still can't hear him. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. The final clue. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. So good. Go! <laughs> I know this one. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Huzzah! Hey, Kellen. Fellas, got a story for us today? Sure do. One of Jesus' disciples, Matthew, wrote down a famous sermon Jesus gave that we know today as the Sermon on the Mount. Now, the Sermon on the Mount had a lot of famous quotes from Jesus. Things like, you are the light of the world, love your enemies, and when you give, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. At the end of the sermon, Jesus told a story about a wise builder and a foolish builder. And here to help me tell the story are my friends Becky and Bethilda. After his sermon, Jesus said, so then, Everyone who hears my words and puts them into practice is like a wise builder. All right. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's really good too. Okay, this, is, this is a really good house. Where should I build it? Let's see. I can't really see the ground, so, yeah. Sand. Well, 
That'll never work. Perfect! Okay. So the person who hears what Jesus says and does what Jesus says is like a wise builder who builds their house on the rock. Then there's the foolish builder. All right. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, this is a good house. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. Now, where should I build it? Nope. Too many trees. Too rocky. Hmm. This is nice. Take a look at this perfect beachfront property where you can build your next dream house, complete with views of the ocean on three sides. Why hasn't anyone built here before? We don't know, but their loss is your gain. Get it today for half price. Half price? Is there something wrong with it? Nothing's wrong with it. Would I lie? Sold. Jesus said, the person who hears what he says, then doesn't do what he says, is like a foolish builder who builds their house on the sand. Both kinds of builders know how to build their houses, but what matters is the foundation. Because Jesus said, when the rain comes down, when the water rises, and then winds blow and beat against the houses, the house built on the sand will fall with a loud crash. But the house built on the rock will not fall. Oh no! Oh, I really should have built on the rock. The end. Great story, Kellen. I'm gonna go build a house today on a strong foundation. Okay, but the story really wasn't about building houses. Oh, right, it's about hearing what Jesus says and not just hearing his words, but actually putting them into practice. That's how you build on a strong foundation. Why? Oh, I think you've got it. Thanks, Kellen. Whew. No doubt. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, yeah, later. You know, John, it's a good thing that Hans was here earlier to train me how to listen. Oh, yeah? Hey, you're ready to take another stab at the nose recorder? No, but... Shh. Uh, what are you... If I'm going to do what God says, first I have to hear him, right? <laughs> right, but I, I'm not sure that's how it works. Oh, how does it work? Oh, uh, like this! Reveal the question! Oh, how can you hear from God? Yeah, can you hear God speak to you out loud in a deep, booming voice? Or maybe you hear God when you read the Bible. The Bible has all kinds of wisdom and words from God. Or, or maybe you hear God through a teacher or a friend or through nature. Yeah. Or... I think there are a lot of ways that you can hear from God. Yeah, so talk about it with each other. How can you hear from God? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Bye. This sweet song go, that's how it goes, oh, oh, that sweet no solo, it sounds so sweet, oh, so, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> One of my favorite toys growing up to play with was Legos. Any Lego fans out there? I love Legos and I, one of the things I love building are like towers, right? See how high I can build a structure. But we all know that the importance of a tower, the way that it goes up high, is also how wide the base is. You need a strong foundation in order for whatever you're building up to stay up or it doesn't sway or fall over. You see, Jesus' words tell us that it's important to build a foundation, a strong foundation, and that those who build on strong foundations are wise builders. They hear what is said and then they live that out. Whereas a foolish builder hears what is said and ignores it and does their own thing. You see, God has very specific words for you about how to live your life and really how to run your race well, how to live your life well, how to build a strong foundation. It's by hearing 
what God says and living that out in your own life. That is how we can be a wise builder. Now, when it comes to hearing from God and listening for God, I know a lot of you are discouraged because you're actually hoping that God speaks to you like I'm speaking to you right now. You want to hear God's audible voice and call you by name. And we know that God is big, but because we don't hear his voice, we feel like God is so far away. I know I've had those thoughts too. And here's a little secret. I have never heard God's audible voice talking to me. I used to pray for, as a kid, I, God, I just give me a billboard with flashing lights and neon so that way I don't miss it. I know what you want me to do. But sometimes, actually most of the time, God doesn't work that way. In fact, God speaks to us in a variety of different ways. In fact, God can use anything to speak to us. We just need to have our ears open for what the Holy Spirit is telling us. We know God speaks through really anything because God spoke through a donkey at one point in, in the Bible. But when it comes to hearing from God, one of the best ways that you can hear God's voice and knowing more about him is actually from the Bible itself. You see, this book is filled with stories of events and people that lived on this earth that are real, that are part of God's plan that he showed up for, and that we can hear his voice through what he taught people thousands of years ago. And we know that's true because when we are a Jesus follower, God gives us the promise of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is with us wherever we go, whatever we read, whatever situation we're in. And the Holy Spirit uses God's word to be able to speak to us. That means no matter what you go through, God has something to say to you. The question is, is are your ears open to hear? Are you willing to listen? Are you willing to listen to even the whispers that God is speaking to? Because it's not gonna come, come in an audible, loud, booming voice, but it's gonna be something in that you read. Maybe it's something that you hear. Maybe it's in a worship song that you listen to. Maybe it's out in nature. You see, God speaks in so many different ways that he meets us wherever we're at. So the truth is, is that God could be speaking to you when you're at school when you're playing Foursquare on the playground. He can be speaking to you when you're eating lunch in the cafeteria or when you're doing your math assignment at your desk. God could be speaking to you when you're riding on the bus, when you're walking home, when you're hanging out with your friends, when you're playing baseball, when you're coloring, when you're playing Legos, riding bikes in your neighborhood, or even before you're going to bed. God can speak at any one of those moments. The question is, are your ears open? Are your ears open to hearing what God is saying to you? The Bible is one of the best ways, but God can also speak to you when you go outside. God can speak to you through nature. God can speak through you through conversations with people who are also Jesus followers. It could be your parents, it could be a teacher, it could be a coach, it could be a small group leader here in Hope Kids. God uses everyone to speak to you. You see, how I got into work with kids ministry and be with Hope Kids is God actually spoke through other people to speak to me. It wasn't God's voice, but people would come up to me and say that I had a really, a really good gift working with kids. It was, as a it was at a time when I was really seeking God's voice and he used complete strangers at a job I was working at for Parks and Rec uh, that he helped guide me into where I'm at today. It was those people God used to speak to me. God speaks to me through scripture, through worship, through nature, through friends, through encouragement, and God uses those same ways to speak to you. Again, the question is, are your ears open? Stop and pause and listen to what God is saying. And that leads us to our main point for today is that hear from God, just hear from God. But the, here's the thing about hearing from God is you have to make time for God as well. God promises to draw near to you when you draw near to him. He's closer than you think, and he's listening to your prayers. And he knows your thoughts, and he knows everything about you. But he wants you to spend time with him. And spending time with him is the best thing that you can do, especially as a Jesus follower. We know that hearing from God is a, is a hard thing to do. That's gonna involve not watching TV. That's, not gonna, that's gonna involve not playing video games. That's gonna involve being quiet. 
And that's gonna involve opening up your Bible and reading a Bible verse and asking God to speak to you. But when you do that, you're asking God to show up and speak to you. And there's no greater thing in this world to hear from the God who loves you, who made you, who designed you, who gave you the purpose and a plan, who sent Jesus to die for your sins so that way you and God could be in a relationship with again, a relationship again. Nothing is greater than that. So Hope Kids, that's my challenge for you. You guys can look at a training plan that we have in the virtual room for you as far as different ways and challenges for you guys to hear from God this week, for scripture to memorize, for scripture to read, questions to ask and, pray, and prayers to pray to help you be determined hearing from God this next week. As always, Hope Kids, we hope to see you guys in person. We hope to see you guys in small groups, worshiping in person, hearing teach, playing games. Remember to sign up for Summerfest. Uh, be a part of our five-day camp-like experience here at Hope, uh, where you guys are going to have an absolute amazing time, where we have a lot of tricks up our sleeves, a lot of surprises coming your way. So make sure you guys sign up for Summerfest. Make sure you guys join us for Hope Kids in person. But if not, if you can't make either one of those, we'll see you guys next week for Hope Kids at Home.